Welcome back. This is the second video in the how to videos training series on Oracle Learning Cloud. In this video, you will learn about the various types of e-learning content supported within Oracle Learning Cloud and how learning specialists can manage the e-learning content. E-learning content is the online learning that you deliver to the learners. Learning Cloud supports various types of e-learning content. They are SCOM 1.2, SCOM 2004 third edition, AICC level 1, versions 2.2 and 4.0, video file format H.264 with AAC. Other content types supported are web links, PDF documents and assessments. Let's learn some more about these content types. The SCOM content that is imported is hosted within the learning cloud. The AICC or HackP content packages contain the course metadata. The content is hosted and streamed from the external content server. Example, the content from learning providers like OpenSesame or Linda. Assessments are created inside Fusion HCM questionnaires module and Learning Cloud has to subscribe to questionnaires module to use assessments within the Learning Cloud. The maximum file size supported for any online content is one gigabyte. Importing and uploading the content into Learning Cloud is easy and straightforward. Videos and PDF can be uploaded easily using search and select from your computer or simply using drag and drop. SCOM and AICC compliant files need to be packaged into single .zip file and then drag and drop to upload. Weblink is uploaded by entering the URL of the weblink. When a content is uploaded into the content server, on successful processing, content goes to active status and it is now ready for use in various catalog objects. Let's see how content upload looks within the Learning Cloud application. In this screenshot, Learning Specialist is in the catalog resources area and on the content tab. Learning Specialist can add any of the supported content type using add content. Learning Specialist can simply drag and drop a SCOM file to upload the content. It is that easy. After a content is imported into Learning Cloud, the content goes through various statuses like new, processing and active. The end state of a content item that is usable for delivering the online learning is the active status. Active content can be utilized to create online offerings. A content item which does not process successfully goes to the processing failed status. Learning specialist can click the content link to see the error. Learning specialist can use the process button to try the import again. This time there is no need to add or upload the content. Delete action permanently removes the rich media content from the learning cloud. Learning specialists can use this action to remove unwanted content from their content library. Content attributes can also be updated. For example, learning specialist can prevent the use of a content by making it inactive or set end date to current date or some date in the past without the need to delete them. Let's refer the Learning Cloud Catalog schematic to see how content imported into Learning Cloud is available for use in self-paced and blended offerings. As you can see here, the e-learning content is the bottom layer and it is utilized in the offering activities. Please watch the video titled Understanding Learning Catalog to know more about how Learning Catalog is structured in case you have not seen it. Now let's move to some common use cases around managing e-learning. Use case one, a learning specialist is required to create and assign a SCOM compliance training to all employees in 2019. A new version of SCOM content has to be used in year 2020. Learning specialist would perform the following steps in Learning Cloud. First, acquire SCOM learning content for year 2019, package it as a .zip file and import into OLC. Then create a compliance offering for 2019 and have a suitable end date. Assign the e-learning to all employees. Sometime later in year 2019, import the new SCOM package version for year 2020. Create a new compliance offering for the year 2020 and assign to all employees. Lastly, update the SCOM content of 2019 to inactive status and set the end date so that it is not available for use in future. Next use case, 
Learning specialist is required to create e-learning training from an external provider, for example, Open Sesame. So first acquire the AICC package from third party content provider, which is Open Sesame in this case, then import the AICC package into Learning Cloud, create a self-paced offering using the content from the previous step. The e-learning content is now available in Learning Catalog for access from self-service. When a learner accesses the self-paced content, the completion is driven based on the content type. For SCOM and AICC, completion is set by the content. Typically, it is visiting certain amount of content or pass score defined in the content. Video-based online learning is completed once the video has been watched till the end. PDF content is completed once the document has been viewed till the end. Web link is completed once the link has been clicked. Alternatively, there is also a configuration for learner to mark it complete. At the time of creating the learning catalog, a learning specialist would have a need to upload a lot of e-learning content in bulk. Learning Cloud provides REST API to do bulk addition of content into Learning Cloud. The REST API is called Learning Content Items. It can be used to bulk upload all supported content types within Learning Cloud. Example, an organization had purchased 100 e-learning courses in the SCOM format or they have 100 online web links from Coursera which needs to be added to the Learning Cloud. It can easily be done using the REST API. REST API can also be used to replace older versions of online content with the new content files. Here is a list of useful documentation on the topic of managing e-learning. Please use the My Oracle support, doc ID and documentation available on Oracle Help Center to learn more. This concludes the video on managing e-learning. Hope you found it useful. Please check out other videos from this series.